discussing the nature of dramatic action and how it's structured to create a play script. Now, we will look at how a play is translated from a script into a play production. One of the first considerations for a play production is in what style will the play be presented. In a broad sense, theater style can be defined as the manner in which a play is presented to the audience. Now, the style of a play can be evident in the reading of a script, but in the final analysis, the style of the play is experienced by the audience that is viewing the dramatic action while it is being performed. Although the style of each play is as unique as the playwright who wrote it and the director who staged it, there are essentially two broad categories of theater style which we will examine. And those theater styles are the realistic style and the theatrical style. In this unit, we will look at these two styles and see how they affect the presentation of a play production. First, let's compare these two styles of theater with two broad style categories that can be applied to all categories of art. Whether we are considering literary, visual, or performing arts, we can say that any single work of art tends to be styled in one of two ways. Any work of art can be rendered in either the representational style or in the presentational style. The representational style refers to art that presents its subject in a manner familiar to our experience. We can use the root word of the style and identify a representational work as that which represents life as we know it. Take a look at this painting. It was done by Norman Rockwell. Rockwell is a well-known representational artist. He created works that represent life that is similar to our experience. We can identify the style of his work as representational. On the other hand, if we consider the work of Pablo Picasso, we do not see in his work images or experiences that are readily identifiable. We say that his work is presentational in nature. A presentational artwork presents life in a form other than that with which we are familiar. If you study Picasso's drawing, you'll see that there seems to be elements that may seem familiar, but the overall effect of his work is presentational in nature. You've often heard this type of work referred to as abstract art. Now let's take what we've learned about the two styles of art and apply them to theater style. This should give us a better understanding of both. We say that realistically styled theater is representational in nature. In other words, it renders dramatic action that presents life as we know it. The action of the play Master Harold and the Boys is realistic. It represents life as we know it. Although it may be difficult for us to immediately identify with life in South Africa during the 1950s, the actions of Sam, Willie, and Harold are all easily recognizable human actions. We say that the play is styled representationally or realistically. Theatrically styled dramatic action, on the other hand, is presentational in nature. That is to say that it presents life in a form other than that with which we are familiar. Musical theater is a good example of a play production that is theatrically styled. When the characters in a musical theater production are moved emotionally, they begin to sing and often dance to express these inner feelings. This doesn't happen in our own experience. When we are moved emotionally, we may do as the characters in Master Harold and the Boys. They argue, laugh, or cry. Often, emotional experiences are kept inside. This is where theatrically styled dramatic action is an advantage. It often allows the audience to share the inner experiences with the character on stage. They can witness what a character is thinking or feeling inside as presented through a song, dance, or abstract gesture on the part of the character on stage. So which style of theater is most appealing to you? Do you prefer realism, which is representational in nature? That is to say, do you prefer theater that represents life in a way with which you are familiar? Or are you more intrigued by the theatrically styled dramatic action, which is presentational in nature? In other words, dramatic action that presents life in a form other than that with which we are familiar.
action that allows you to witness the inner experiences of a character. At this time, go to your task for this unit and respond to the questions there. When we come back, we'll continue our discussion of theater style.